जय गुरु जी संगत जी अनंतम अनंतम शुक्राना गुरु जी आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट इट्स गुड बी आई वुड बी डूइंग सत्संग राय नाउ सो इफ आई मेक एनी मिस्टेक्स तो मुझे माफ कर दो प्लीज I'm going to be speaking this satsang in English as that is my fluent language. I want to say the first time I got connected to Guruji was during November 2021 during the weekend of Thanksgiving. My mom brought me to the Guruji mandir and told me to come here and find out how it is. So when I came here, I looked at the atmosphere, I observed the discipline that was being followed. I also um had the langar prasad here which was an attraction and is always an attraction. I listened to the shabats the satsang that was being that was being um heard here also so that was a really good experience also i really loved it and that kept me peaceful before guruji my life was really different um i'm i'm currently a college student i go to clarkson university which is 7 hours away up north from here potsdam new york and i major in environmental engineering and i used to be part of the air force reserve officer training program at clarkson university during the time of college i started during the pandemic time and i was facing so much stress had limited social interactions was staying away from family it was a really cold area because it's up north of new york it was an isolated area and i didn't have that many friends that time also and i had so much stress going on also which developed into coughing and eye blinking habits which is hard for me to get get over until shukrana guruji at least he's kind of helping me there also so coming back to the point i just really loved coming to the mandir thanksgiving 2021 Then I went back to go and do my final exams, December 2021. And once I went there, I did my final exams, and I had to take the verbal portion of the Air Force officer qualifying test. Verbal is, was one of my weaknesses before, but slowly it's becoming a strength. So September 2021, I had to take that same test for the Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps in order to commission as a second lieutenant. And I did not pass in September 2021, and I retook it in December 2021, and I still did not pass it. So the consequence was that i lost a scholarship and i became mentally disturbed so my mom got me to the guruji mandir again december 2021 she told me to come she encouraged me to come and i came here and prayed and shukrana to guruji i was given an opportunity to do seva with the help of guruji jain uncle who connected me to godam uncle and i really had a peaceful time here then i went back to college january 2022 and i was very depressed though because i got the poor results in the air force officer qualifying test for verbal and i didn't even know if i would still be in the program because of that verbal score although i was still doing a good job in my academics for environmental engineering so that was good but just that was the problem so there's a program called field training if you're in that program um the thing is it's 2 weeks in the summer and then after you pass that program you have to stay with an air force reserve officer training corps to train to become a second lieutenant for 2 years So although I did not get a good score in the Air Force officer qualifying test for verbal I still got accepted for field training I under slot there and I was ready to go for field training and what was good about that semester which was last year January 2022 was that I made a lot of friends from the international communities which was really good because I didn't have that many friends prior to Guruji Guruji gave me so many friends at college so I really felt blessed also and the stress was really reduced the eye blinking the coughing habits they were reduced they they just stopped so i also went to a program called clip which was to help me do better on the air force officer qualifying test for verbal and i went to that program literally in the, the, this past summer for one month before i went to field training as well so i knew i was going to do well in field training i was very confident i was very excited i wanted to earn the officer slot as well two years from that day onwards so i have went from Texas where I did the clip program all the way to Alabama and I had to stop at Atlanta International Airport to check in and then I had to say bye to my mom on the phone and I told my mom that I'm going to do well it's going to be amazing and then all of a sudden I got on the bus and I was very excited and I knew it was going to go good and when I got on base when they asked me to turn in my personal belongings I had a phone I had a laptop but there was no wallet that wallet contained an identification card a passport identification card a military card two credit cards from 8000 to 16000 so 
that freaked me out because when I was going to the training, I was going with so much enthusiasm and excitement and someone who was going to go there to excel, instead it was a shock for me. So with that, I was issued a Form 17 on day one because due to not having an identification card and I was irresponsible for it. And if you get three Form 17s in that training, you are sent back home. So I was very stressed out. That immense stress took over my performance and my performance became very, very poor. So all of a sudden, I really prayed what's gonna happen. I had to contact my parents two days after I was there also, but still that immense stress took over that poor performance. All of a sudden, I was removed from the training, unfortunately, and I was sent back home. And the week after that incident was Guruji's birthday and Guru Purnima, but a shukarana to Guruji that I was able to really have so much excitement, so much enthusiasm and so much happiness regardless of what I was going through to always enjoy his festivals. And I felt shukarana to Guruji every moment from that day. On October 26th, 2022, I did face disenrollment. So I was disenrolled from the program due to what happened this past summer. And it was really hurtful. And I would call my mom and ask her, why is this happening? I always thought I would get reinstated, but then all of a sudden went to this Roman. But then I was like, why did Guruji do this? And my mom is saying, is Guruji bigger or is trouble bigger? So my mom said, Guruji. So she kept telling me to rely on Guruji every single moment. So when I kept on believing in Guruji, even though that those moments happen, I had a lot of calmness regardless of what was going on in that situation. And I, and I was able to perform well on my final exams and the semester off properly, December 2022. And I was able to get placed on Dean's list. Shukarana to Guruji for all this, regardless of what was going on. And during that investigation period also, I did pass the verbal Air Force officer qualifying test. Shukarana to Guruji. Within 24 hours of the disenrollment investigation notice, I provided, I got seven reference letters. Shukarana Guruji. Didn't know that was gonna happen, but shukrana to Guruji for that. And also one thing is that what I learned is that it was not easy and Guruji was with me, he was holding my hand, he was there with me. So shukrana to Guruji for everything he's given me, shukrana to Guruji for the things he has not given me, and shukrana to Guruji for keeping me happy, healthy, and active every day. And also a shukrana to Guruji that regardless of what was going on, he still gave me a support system, both in the Guruji Mandir and both in college as well. He kept me going as a person and I felt so happy with Guruji being with me. I also wanna say that Shukurana, that even though there's a problem, there's always gonna be a blessing. I faced a huge problem this past October and it was not easy also. But there was a blessing that once the investigation was over, I received a score of three out of five instead of a one out of five. A one out of five is that you're ineligible, ineligible, meaning that you are not eligible to join the military through officer training school if you choose to do officer training school right after college. So I received a score of three out of five and I'm still eligible, but I've told Guruji one thing. I promised Guruji and I'm going to leave my life to you because he knows the future and I don't. Guruji can see the bigger picture. I cannot sometimes. And when I spoke to my mom three days ago, we were having this conversation about how we can do this and if the wallet situation did not happen, if my wallet did not get lost, how exactly I would have been excelling the program thinking that I'll be doing so many great things, commissioning as a second lieutenant. But my mom said that Guruji saw the big picture. He prevented something big from happening. He takes 90% of your pain and gives you the 10%. So Guruji instead gave me a smaller problem because he wanted to prevent me from going through a big problem. And in this process of this disenrollment and the tr getting removed from the training, that was just giving me so much calmness after some time. Like it was not, it was so stressful, but after some time it became like you're calm, you feel calm and you felt better also. So shukarana to Guruji for keeping me calm. Shukarana to all the sevadars out there, shukarana to the Sangat and shukarana to the sevadars for always giving their affection to me and Sangaji, make sure you keep Guruji as your first trust, but not your last hope. With Guruji, I am priceless. Without Guruji, I am valueless. And before I end off this satsang, I want to say it like this. 
तेरे हर वेले दिन रात गुरु जी शुक्र करा गुरु जी शुक्र करा मेरी बनी रही जी बात गुरु जी शुक्र करा गुरु जी शुक्र करा मेरे बदल गए हालात गुरु जी शुक्र करा मेरे बन गई बिगड़ी बात गुरु जी शुक्र करा गुरु जी शुक्र करा गुरु जी शुक्र करा जय गुरु जी शिवाय शिव जी सदा सा गुरु जी सदा सा